I'm finally moved into my dorm, as you can probably see from the background. I'll probably fix the background a little bit more later on, but I have moved in and in this video, I'll be showing you me packing a little bit, me kind of, I didn't get a lot of vlogging because it was just me and my mom moving um, me in. So I didn't get a lot of vlogging, but I'll show just a little bit. And then I'll also show you like the unpacking process and moving in and getting settled. And I'll give a like decorated, fully decorated dorm tour later on once I kind of get more decorations and settle in a little bit more. And in this video, I'll be showing you me packing a little bit, me kind of, I didn't get a lot of vlogging because it was just me and my mom moving um, me in. So I didn't get a lot of vlogging, but I'll show just a little bit. And then I'll also show you like the unpacking process and moving in and getting settled. And towards the end of this video, I will be giving you very helpful tips on how to kind of pack and stuff and move in. Tips that I wish I had before I moved in as a first time mover Alrighty, you guys so i'm about to start packing everything and i'm gonna start with each section each different like area and section and stuff so i'll be showing you what it looks like right now which is kind of crazy but i'm gonna start packing because i move in this saturday and it is wednesday i believe and i haven't started packing yet so i really need to pack Alrighty, so here is pretty much everything that I will be bringing. Um, and then there's a few bulky items and clothing are the only things that I don't have up here, but all my school supplies, everything, it's just a lot going on over here. So there's a lot that I have to do and yeah. Alrighty, you guys so this is day two um sorry i haven't been vlogging it's just really hectic and it's hard to do all of that good stuff so i will just be showing you the process and kind of like what i've been doing so far so right here is the second closet i've just been throwing some stuff and then my bag and then more stuff over here just desk stuff that i have to take out my clothes and then all of this crazy stuff over here this is all the unsanitary things, like clean stuff. And then look at this, look at this whole side. This is the sanitary side. I know you see that, period. And then some of my kitchenette stuff and my kitchen area. Um, if I ever get a roommate, then I will 
move mine over there closer to my little kitchenette area and then uh put theirs over here all right you guys so this is day three of moving in my mom is gone she left last night and i will just be showing you what i'm doing now this is definitely a long process but hopefully this video is pretty enjoyable i just from my bag this is my clothes bag that i was vacuum sealed and this is my dresser so i'm going to be unpacking all my stuff from there and i have this area kind of messed up now and i also have this um dolly with all my stuff that i move in and out of my bathroom so there you go that's all i have so far i will be unpacking i hope to finish unpacking everything by tonight Alrighty, so i did my clothes over there, in the hangers. Now, I'm putting these dry goods up in this Tupperware. And then putting it under my bed. Here is my um, school supplies and I'm going to be disinfecting it and putting it in here and then some in that drawer because it's a little too small. I'm going to keep that one closed and empty for now. Okay, so the first tip is pack in advance. I gave myself about five days to pack and I kind of was procrastinating a little bit. And so I ended up not packing everything that I needed to. And with that, make sure you kind of know what decorations you want. Even if you don't get them, at least kind of get like a feel of how you want to decorate. All right, next, before you actually move out, double check your move in day and the time and the place because you don't want to be driving around trying to figure out where to go and then lose any parking spaces that are good for you to move in. And like, number three, this is super, super helpful. Bring a dolly, bring several moving carts. I'll probably add a picture. Bring multiple of those. Um, these are super helpful when you're trying to move all your packages, especially if you don't have any elevators um, in your dorm or anything. Just you can have that to move everything. It's a lot quicker even if you don't have a lot of people, which is my next tip. Ask people for help. Just bring a lot of people that you know and you trust 
to help you move in. So there's, it just goes by faster and you can even unpack with them or they can just help you move and then you can unpack yourself. It just makes it go by really fast. Do not move in the same day as your roommate. If you do have a roommate, don't move in with the same day as them or the same time. If you do have to move in the same time, make it one in the morning and one in the afternoon because it'll be super chaotic and super hectic if you're trying to move at the same time. Like try and move in on an earlier day, like as early as possible so you have time to really settle in, unpack, and you have like at least like a week or like half a week to unpack and then get more decorations and maybe see what you might need to bring if you don't live too far away. I get the lay of the land for the campus, especially if you're a freshman. Alrighty, there you have it, you guys. I hope this was very helpful and entertaining as you're trying to move in and all of that. Please listen to those tips because they are pretty helpful. I feel like I've learned a lot and it's only been like a week since I moved in. Alright, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget